So what I've said is that beginning with an experiment I did in high school because of the wonderful work, I've got to say, not only of Billingham, Brenton, Metawar, but a really fantastic guy, Ray Owen, at Caltech, still alive, who in 1945 published a paper that calves, where you have multiple calves in the same litter in a mother, if male and female calves are born, so they're genetically different, they are permanently have the blood forming system of both. And he knew that, that a transfusion would have rejected it, so there must be something in the early time when cells can migrate back and forth and can induce tolerance, and they must be stem cells now, retrospectively, to last for life. So it all started back then, 45, 53, 55, 56, when I started experiments. I'm still doing the same experiments. Old habits die hard, as my friend Jim Gowns told me when he visited the lab much later. Uh, it went, starting with immunology and transplantation, to stem cell biology writ large, and now it's all coming back to immunology and cancer immunology and transplantation and immune tolerance and blocking autoimmune disease. So I feel fairly comfortable that this is something that will cause a revolution. Um, and I'm happy about it, of course, but nothing makes me happier than every day when the fellows in the lab come in and say, you know, I got something and it's, I don't quite understand it. And we start talking about it and then we can put it in context and have an idea.